welcome to Quinity by AC. My name is Kristen and uh, you are here because you want to get in shape or maybe just need a helping hand to stay in shape. Today's session we're gonna have three blocks. The first block with three exercises in, we're gonna do a pulse sequence. So three exercises where we are focused on getting shorter breath. The next block also consistent of three exercises. We have three strengthening exercises. The third and the last block, we're gonna do a combination with a pulse and a strengthening exercises. And there will be four exercises in that third block. So we're just gonna go from the top and all the way to the bottom. And uh, by the end of this session, you've been working your entire body. So uh, make sure you have an exercise mat, you have some good shoes for the pulse exercises and a bottle of water so you can get some water during this session. So if you're ready, I'm ready. And we are just gonna hit it hard and remember to be a little bit warmed up before you start this session. Just some kind of jogging on place or whatever makes you feel ready to go so uh, let's hit it so we are ready i have my timer here i'm gonna put it for the 40 seconds work and the 15 seconds rest i'm gonna show you the first exercise so you are ready to go when the timer starts but in the rest period i will make sure to show you the next following exercise so the first one we're gonna do is what we're gonna clap in front here and in the back so forth and back so just using and challenge our combination and coordination so we are going to put the timer on ready for the 40 seconds it's going to count down from 10 seconds so we just can get ourselves ready here we go so get ready to clap those feet in front and behind you relaxing those shoulders so we're gonna go here front front back back front front back back and remember you're exhaling exhale and inhale if you don't want to do the jumping part you can go here and do just the same with just a little bit of movement instead so just keep going really short of breath that's what we're targeting right now so front front back back and keep it moving inhale and exhale front and back and engaging that core whoops here we go we're gonna do a low skater jump so staying down here relaxing those shoulders chin in and chest up so good space between the front and the back leg moving here from one side to the other touching the ground so engage your core remember your pelvic floor moving up and down working from one side to the other so listen to your heart to your breathing you should be short of breath by now working 15 seconds more lifting yourself up bending those knees one hand on one thigh changing from one to the other two very good we're gonna do a burpee lifting up going out jump jump and back in center get yourself ready for four seconds inhale exhale so no push-up, jumping out one side to the other, back again, lifting, center, up again, so one, and back again, lifting, center, make sure you get a good focus on the alignment, inhale, and exhale, keep on, going inhale and engage your core muscles one more to go and we are back in the beginning only three exercises three rounds and after that we have strengthening block so get ready three two one so in front and back Engaging your core, relaxing your shoulders, get those arms up, or maybe you want to do it here, 
fat and modification. You can change between the two. And then a little bit after a little bit, you will get better and better. So keep going, clapping those legs, getting those arms up. Four seconds, inhale, exhale. Now, ready for the touchdown. So keep one hand on your thigh, chest up and chin in. Look after your pelvic floor. Two, one. Here we go. One side to the other. Bending your knees so you get this good straight position, making your legs burning a bit. Inhale, exhale. So our target right now is to get shorter breath. Inhale and exhale. Keep going, 10 seconds. Lifting yourself up and down. Yep, I know you can do it. Back to the burpee with the center side side jump. So engaging your core, using the rest period to get ready for the next exercise. Jumping up, go out, 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 center. Keep a good space between your feet and it's much easier to get up into the standing position and back down again. When you jump out, be careful you don't hang. So keep the straight plank position. Going from one side to the other. Get those arms up in the air. Seven seconds. Let's go. Let's keep each other company. Back to exercise number one. Three more pulse exercise and we'll get a little bit of water. Shoulders down, engaging your core. And now you just hit it as hard as you can. You know the exercise and you just gotta move yourself and get shorter breath. Arms up and down. You can do it. It's the only, it's the last time. And only 10 more seconds of this one for today. Here we go. Great job doing the skater touchdown. So you can hear my breathing is affected as well. And hopefully just like yours, go from one side to the other. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Get it short of breath. So when you get short of breath, doesn't mean that you're in bad shape, just means that you're pushing yourself to that heavy breathing area where you just feel your body working with you. Sometimes you might feel it working against you, but you can turn that around. Inhale, exhale. Yep, one more to go and we'll have a bit of water. Burpees, sideways hop, back to center. Ah. So, you ready? Out, center. Keep the space between your legs. Engaging your core. Chin in, get a good jump. Back into center. Inhale and exhale. Just by knowing that we have a little break in a few seconds, keeps you going. And only eight more seconds. Engage your core muscle. Let 
your body work with you. Inhale, and here we go. Get a bottle of water. So, you know when you're breathing heavily, then you've been working your best. And actually, it shall not be better. Meaning that even though you've been doing a lot of different kind of exercise session, you should still, and feeling that you're getting in better, better shape, you should still feel shorter breath. Ready to show, slow down a little bit. We're gonna do this strengthening part. Three exercises in this block. So we're gonna start with a push up with a rotation. So we're gonna go down here, push up, lifting one arm up, back down again, and do the opposite side. So that would be our first exercise of the three. Then we're gonna do some rolling, and we're gonna do some core training. So gotta continue here with the 40 seconds. Counting down from 10 seconds, starting by the push-up, hands right underneath your shoulders, going down, lifting up and make that beautiful rotation. If this is too much, you can do just the same on your knees instead of on your toes. Or you might want to do two push-up on your toes and then move down. Always remember the quality. Always have that in focus. And also, of course, that you should feel your muscles, so feel your upper body working. Inhale, exhale when you're straightening that arm. Hands right underneath shoulders. Okay, we are gonna lie down here. We're gonna do one sit up, lifting ourselves up and doing a back extension. Yep, we are ready. Chin in, sit up, straightening, roll over, back, lifting, back again. And this is kind of a funny little exercise where you challenge your core, your coordination, lifting up. Inhale, try to touch as less as possible the floor lifting up using your core muscle to keep yourself up and rolling chin in engaging that core up and back down again lifting here we go and back up to a sitting position we're gonna keep our feet together and we're gonna do a abduction and straightening back again. So feet out, moving in and get those knees back together and try to keep the good and nice position here. So bring those knees in, leaning back, back up again. So by pressing those feet against each other, you should be able to feel it all the way in your abdominal area. So using those stomach muscle, relaxing your shoulders, chin in, remember your pelvic floor, inhale and exhale. So even though we do the strengthening exercise, we still need to have focus on that breathing, lifting up. Back again with exercise number one, the push up with the rotation. Hands straight underneath your shoulders, engaging your core, looking down. And let's go, go down and lifting up, back down again and straightening that arm. So quality is above everything else. If you feel that there's a very long way down here, go down on your knees and continue the exercise. And then before you know it, you are able to do two and maybe three on your toes and then in the end, you can do it for the full 40 seconds. Inhale and exhale. Lifting up, go back down again. 
Yep, here we go. Lying down and ready to do the sit up and roll over. It just reminds me of being a little child when I do this exercise. So lifting up, straightening, rolling over, lifting. And try to keep that chin in and engaging your core. So feel it here in the front of your body, lifting and feel it in the back of your body, all the muscle along your spine. Inhale and exhale. Get those knees in. Keep it going for just a few more seconds. Up, back down again and up. And we're gonna stay in the sitting position. Feet together, leaning back a little bit, engaging your core and pelvic floor, relaxing those shoulders, leaning back, going up and down. Inhale, exhale. So you should lean back as much as possible so you can feel it in your core muscle. Inhale and exhale. Relaxing your shoulders, lifting up, back again. So it's just your center of your body working. Keep those feet together and you might feel a little bit in your inner thigh. Inhale, exhale. Come on, let's go for the last seven seconds. And then we only have one more of each. Inhale and exhale, pushing yourself. Get back on your hands, doing the push-up rotation for one more go. Let's go. And go back, chest down, and arm up. Back again. Lifting up. Keep that chin in. And remember, you can do it on your knees. And straighten that arm using your core muscle as well. Inhale and exhale. Lifting. Straightening that arm. Keep that chin in. Bending those elbows. Go down and up again. Only five more seconds. Lifting, straightening, and back here. Lying down, almost. Not all the way down, but leaning back, engaging your core, ready to do the roll over. Inhale and exhale. Lifting. Keep yourself up, moving up, back again. And inhale, roll over, lifting. Keep going. Only one more exercise to go. Feel your muscle working with you. And moving up. Only 15 seconds to go. Lifting, rolling over. Rolling like a river. Boop, boop, boop. And we're almost there. Here we go. Keeping the sitting position, leaning back, feet together, relaxing shoulders, and chin in. Four more seconds, and we are ready to go. And bring those legs up and out and back. When we straighten our legs, we are gonna move those legs together again. So apart and together. Chin in, engaging your core muscle and keep going. If this is getting too hard, you can get your feet down, resting in the floor, moving up and down instead. So a little bit more challenge to keep those feet lifted for the full 40 seconds. Inhale and exhale. Here we go. Putting the timer for a little stop and get your water just for a little quick drink <sighs> good job so we only need only gonna do one more block consistent of four exercises 
So we're gonna start with a pulse exercise and then we move on to a strengthening exercise for the four, uh, the changing by those pulse and strengthening exercises and do it for three rounds just as we did with block number one and number two. And when we're done with the third block, you are all done and you've been doing a great, beautiful job for your body. So we are gonna start out by doing a high knee for the side. So we're gonna go up here for two and changing for two. So lifting up. If you don't wanna do that much jumping, you can just do it like this and moving elbows and knees together anyways. Or remember, you can do a combination of the two. And I'm gonna show the next exercise in the rest period time. So we don't need to stay here and get cold. So moving on here, doing the side jump, go to either your left or right side, strengthening your arm, straightening out. So moving in, changing direction, lifting, lifting. So this is a pulse exercise if you haven't noticed by now. So you should try to aim getting shoulder breath. Chin in, engage your core and pelvic floor. Breathing in, exhale. So only two pulse exercises in this block and two strengthening exercises. 10 more seconds. Or do the modification. Changing and or changing other two. Very good. Lying down on your right side. The lower arm straight forward. The top arm here going up, moving both your legs up, but bending the lower leg. Lifting, go back down again. Chin in and lifting. So you should feel it in your oblique muscle on the part up, turning, facing the ceiling. So moving up, one leg straight, lower leg bending as you lift yourself off the floor. If this is too much, you can just stay down here and lifting both your legs up with hips and knees in the bending position. Chin in and make sure your stomach don't pop out. Keep it engaged, engaging your core muscle. And we are back up again. We're gonna do a sprinter on the spot. Relaxing your shoulders. Getting that pulse going again. And here we go. Moving as fast as you can. Inhale and exhale. Chin in, knees up. Just like stepping on fire. So keep those arms moving forth and back. Inhale and exhale. Keep yourself going. Stick with me for only 14 seconds. Or you can just do the same exercise in a lower pace. But of course, if you're able to do in a fast, you do that. Lying down on the opposite side of before. Straining, stretching the lower arm, the top arm in front, bending uh, lower leg, so going up, back down again, lifting your top leg in a straight position and bending that lower leg. Chin in, engaging your core, or maybe you wanna do the modification, lying down, lifting your legs with a bending knees and hips. Or else you're just gonna combine those two exercises. Inhale, chin in. Engaging your core and feel it burning between your hip and your ribs. Yep, back to exercise number one for the third, second round, of course. Lifting up, straightening. So we are ready. Bring it in, bring it out. Inhale and exhale, moving that arm in front of you. 
and do the, maybe you want to do the modification, you just go with that. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Keep it going just because you can. <sighs> Strengthening exercise coming up. The one for uh, oblique muscles. Keep it going. You will be so satisfied by the end of this session. <sighs> Here we go. Lying down on our right side. Straight arm here, the other one in front of us, lifting up, bending our lower leg, lifting, go back down again, inhale and exhale, keep your chin in, in a nice position, inhale and exhale, or do the modification, lifting up and down, maybe with a hand underneath your head for a little bit of support. So make it burn here, using those oblique muscle. Inhale and exhale, relaxing your face, put energy in the rest of your body. Very good. Go back up again, doing the sprinter on the spot. Feels like I'm moving away. I don't want to do that. Here we go. Doing the sprinting part. Or maybe slow down with the pace. Inhale and exhale. Moving those arms back and forward. And you just keep going. I keep an eye on you and I know you can do it. Just make sure that you keep the air going in through your nose and maybe also your mouth. Doesn't matter as long as you get some air. Get that oxygen in your working body. Moving forth and back with those arms, chin in and go back on our left side or the opposite of before. Top hand in the floor in front of you chin in and let's go bending that lower leg straightening that top leg and inhale go back exhale if possible you don't feet don't touch the ground and keep those core muscles engaged lifting moving back down again Inhale and exhale. So don't give up on me. It's always better to do the modification and then you will get stronger session by session. Here we go. Back up standing. The last time of the knee elbow jump. Relaxing your shoulders. Inhale and exhale and move for the third and the last time. So move it and get those feet off the ground. And of course, as I said previously, you can do the modification. Chin in, lifting yourself up, aiming for the shorter breath part so you know you are closer to getting in an even better shape. <sighs> Lifting up. Here we go. Back down on our right side. Almost there. Top hands in front of you. Chin in. Ready to lift. Let's go. The last and third round lying on our right side, inhale, exhale, chin in, or you can bend your legs, just try to keep yourself going, and of course, most important, feel your muscle working, and do it with a good quality. So I can guide you to quality and 
short of breath, but it's in the end, it's all up to you, lying on your shoulders, but I will keep you reminding you as long as possible. So we make sure that everybody's working out in the most perfect way. Sprinting on top, on top and on the spot for the last third time. Get short of breath. So maybe you can push it a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, moving and keep yourself going and stick with me for only seven seconds. That's nothing when you think about it. Two and one. Lying down on your left side, on the opposite of the, other, the one you did before. So both sides get worked equally. Chin in, lifting, straightening that top leg, bending your lower leg. Chin in, inhale, and exhale. And moving up, lifting yourself. Just tell yourself there's only one more to go, and then we get another one, and we might as well take a third one. And now we're all on our way. We might as well do it for the last four seconds, talking you through this workout. Great job stopping and get your water. Very good. Ah. Beautiful job. So, just standing up, moving your arms in a little rotation position, relaxing your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. And feel the energy returning twice back into your body. Very good. Just put your right leg in front of you, leaning back on the other leg, hands on thighs, stretching that hamstring, lifting your chest up. Inhale and exhale and just feel it, as I said, in the back of your thighs. Also pointing up your toes, pointing for your nose, feeling your full leg. Inhale and exhale and changing to the other leg. Good for us, we only have two. Lifting that toe up and feel comfortable. Inhale and exhale. Feet with just a little bit distance apart. Moving all the way down if it's possible with your Knees straight, you just put your hands on the floor, relaxing your neck, and inhale. And as you breathe out, you just go a little bit further, moving all the way up, continuing with your arms, making a little bit of extension in your back, lifting yourself up, putting hands on your hips, moving a little bit further, just to get out of this often very common position, sitting down, moving in the opposite position. Feel the straight strength, stretch of course, in the front of your body. Get back in the middle and moving from one side to the other. Getting a little bit of dynamic stretch in your inner thighs, keeping your hands up here and your alignment in a great, nice position. So of course, 
when this session is over in a few seconds, you can always do a little bit more of stretching. I will put a link on top of this video and below this video. And I will also put some suggestions for some of my other videos. Some are made with a set of dumbbells, some sessions are with a chair, and some sessions are just you and your working body. So thank you for now. Thank you for tuning in. It was a pleasure working with you. If you feel like getting updated on different kind of videos here, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully I will see you soon. And until then, take good care. Bye.